Welcome to in 5 minutes. We take problem on compound bars. Our problem statement is a steel bolt of 20 mm diameter passes centrally through a copper tube of internal diameter 25 mm and thickness 10 mm. The tube is 600 mm long and is closed by rigid washers of negligible thickness and fastened by nuts threaded on the bolt. Find the stresses in the bolt and the tube when one of the nut is tightened by one quarter of the ton relative to the other. The pitch of the thread of the bolt is given as 2 mm and the property of steel bolt is ES is 200 gigapascal and copper tube EC is 100 gigapascal. They have also given the diagram of this problem. So we have been given the figure of this problem. We have the steel bolt which is of diameter 20 mm and a copper tube which is of internal diameter 25 mm and thickness being 10 mm. The steel bolt and the copper tube has been enclosed inside these two washers by means of two nuts at its end. And in the problem we have been given that if the nut is being rotated, what is its corresponding effect on the steel bolt and the copper tube? We see that the length of the composite section is 600 mm. So we have been asked in the problem to find out the stresses in the steel bolt and the copper tube when one of the nut is tightened by one quarter of the turn. So we have sigma s and sigma c when nut is turned by 1 by 4 turn. So we start with the solution. Before that we first convert the units of es and ec. 200 gigapascal is 200 into 10 to the power 3 newton per mm square and ec is 100 gigapascal. This is equal to 100 into 10 to the power 3 newton per mm square. So we first start with the static equilibrium equation which is nothing but a force balance equation. Now we know load on the steel bolt PS plus load on the copper tube is equal to zero as there is no external load applied. So we get PS is equal to minus of PC and let this be equation one. Now before going to the compatibility equation, let's study something about the pitch of a bolt. Figure shows a cross section of a bolt. The pitch is defined as a length. The bolt moves when the nut is turned by one revolution. So in this case, the pitch is given as 2 mm. So for 1 by 4th turn of a nut, the axial moment of nut will be 1 by 4 multiplied by 2 that is nothing but 0.5 mm. Now we can see that the moment of the nut is nothing but the total deformation of this compound steel bolt and copper rod. So we have delta L is equal to minus 0.5 mm minus sign because the steel bolt as well as copper rod is being compressed. So we go to our deformation equation, compatibility equation, delta L of C is equal to PCL upon ACEC, which is nothing but 0.5 mm. So upon substituting the values, we have PC into length is 600 upon AC is pi by 4 into Internal diameter of copper tube is 25 mm uh, whereas the thickness is 10 mm. So outer diameter becomes 45 mm. So 45 square minus 25 square into EC is 100 into 10 to the power 3 equal to minus 0.5 mm. So we get the value of load on copper tube PC equal to minus 91.62 kilo Newton which is compressive. Upon substituting the value in equation 1, we get PS is equal to plus 91.62 kN and the load is tensile. We now find the stresses. Stresses in the copper tube sigma c is PC upon AC which is minus 91.26 into 10 to the power 3 newton upon AC is 1099.55 mm square. This we get pi by 4 into 45 square minus 25 square. So this answer comes out to be minus 83.33 Newton per mm square. And this stress is compressive stress. Similarly, stress in the steel bolt sigma s is PS upon AS. PS is 91.26 into 10 to the power 3 Newton upon AS is pi by 4 into 20 square. So this area comes out to be 91.26 into 10 to the power 3 upon 314.15. So answer comes out to be 
291.64 newton per mm square and it is tensile so with this our problem is over thank you